hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so in today's video i want to talk about the full tewa save video a lot of you may have seen it some of you may not have seen it so um i watched that video and uh, let me first actually you know talk about the video because obviously i'm not going to play the video for those of you that may not have seen it i'm going to tell you basically what's in the video let me just say this i'm a nurse right and i have worked in different areas i've worked in maternity hospital and i have seen women giving birth right so i've seen all of that let's let's put it that way uh, i i have worked in you know on the regular ward where you you're bathing patients and I, you bath men women okay and i've worked in theater and i've seen human beings being caught open and all of that so i have seen the human anatomy in different ways let me put it that way okay so maybe that's why things like that it's not big deal the human body is a human body so that's on one side and secondly the video itself when i watched it to be honest with you i was expecting something really like there was nothing really honestly the one that i saw is about less than a minute long and i think that's the whole because I've, people that have watched it have said is that's all you see initially i was like should i watch it should i watch it i said no since i'm about to make a video about it let me watch it so that i at least know what i'm about to talk about what's in the video like i said nothing amazing you know i've seen comment here and there tiwa, tiwa, uh, facebook you trust i was thinking maybe there was something you know some kind of weird stuff mm -mm. i'm being honest there was nothing weird it's just, just a very close up video if you know what i mean and then they showed the tunnel they showed the vehicle and the vehicle was kind of like going in and out in and out slowly about four times or maybe five times then the camera kind of moved and just showed uh, uh tiwa's face briefly and then back to the where not meets out. That's it. Nothing else. Okay. Now, when I saw that, I'm very skeptical because why would, because you see, the time where the camera moved and then showed Tiwa's face is enough time for people that are very good at film trick to edit it and then show the face. There's a picture trend in where she was actually wearing that particular dress. And then there's a guy that was with her. And people are thinking that must be the guy. And why I'm so confused is why will Tiwa allow something like that to be filmed? And the guy's face is not in the video. And if you watch that, you would see that she didn't film it. She had nail polish. And if you watch it, you see her hands were down there at the at the kind of at the tunnel, kind of like so she couldn't have filmed it because her hands were down. We can see it. So it has to be the other person. It has to be. And, and I do not want to believe that they brought somebody else to film it. Why I'm so confused is, why would somebody of her status, when I say status, Nigerian musician, a celebrity that knows who she is, why she would allow such a thing? And then think about the person that did not show his own face. On the other hand, when I say, initially I was thinking it was not true. Maybe it was just a publicity stunt. Maybe it didn't really happen. But now I'm saying, or well, maybe it is film trick where they caught it and they showed her face, but it's not her down there. But I'm like, but well, why will she even do? Okay, something else people have to realize that comes to my mind too is people that will do anything to blow. Blowing is such a big deal for a lot of people. And we, we're living in a world where things like this is what make people blow. It's such a, a bad news that it makes people blow. Think about the people that make Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian is the, a role model to a lot of people. But there are videos of Kim Kardashian like that. You know that. There are videos of Kim Kardashian, you know, this kind of video out there. There are videos, we know of pictures when there was this picture she posted, it was all over whatever, social media, whatever, where she was basically completely bare. So it won't surprise me if celebrities want to do something like this kim kardashian is a lot of people's role model and then when you think about it, the dog is barking guys but i'm gonna keep talking because if i keep waiting i never get this video finished well there are people that would do things like this because of that you know desire to be internationally famous because don't forget that she did this interview the first time she talked about it was when she was abroad i think she was in america when she did this interview not in nigeria that she announced this and i was I honestly kept on thinking did she do it so she can blow american level blowing you understand she sang with this american american singer as well that her latest song and i'm thinking maybe she's aiming for that you know but maybe she didn't think about the real consequence on the other hand then i want to address the idea of people saying oh you know i stand by tiwa tiwa is a role model tiwa is a this is a strong woman is a this is a da, da, da. and you know 
first night do not like the idea of a lot of these celebrities coming and making this look like it is not a bad thing it is a bad thing it's not what she did that's the bad thing right but let me separate this because you know we can talk about christianity if it comes to christianity people can say ah oh, how will she be with the man she's not married to all of that okay let me leave christianity out of this let's even say leave faith religion anything all of that out of it it is not what she did that is the problem is the fact that it was filmed is it a good thing that she refused to according to her if that's the story that uh, refused to be blackmailed 100 percent. she handled that side well but the idea of allowing herself to be filmed is the part that is a big deal she already said it that you know uh, for days uh, people can know something like that uh, she did something natural 100 percent is true it's natural also people have started saying that to her yeah, okay what do you guys mean uh, what did she do what she did is natural what she did is natural. Doing the do is natural, but filming it is not. It's like having your shower. There is the, having your shower is natural, but there's a reason why we do it in the bathroom. There's a reason why we don't bring cameras in it and into the bathroom and film ourselves taking our shower and then show on so, share on social media. There is a place and time for everything. Okay? The, a lot of things are natural, but there are places for it. And this is why I want people to call a spade a spade and say, ah, you know, do well. How you go let them film you? But anyway, you've made your mistake, learn from it. I'm not coming to people, she's, uh, she's the worst sinner in the world, because that's what some people say, eh, hey, please ain't, are you? That's not what I'm saying. This uh, Tiwa Savage, 41-year-old woman that a lot of young girls look up to, we have to be careful what message we pass to them. That's why I say it's important when you say eh, what she did is natural. If you're saying it, remember, if you own, I have three, I can call them grown daughters. My youngest daughter is uh, 15. Imagine them listening to you. Let's differentiate between people are condemning the act or people are condemning the idea of allowing it to be filmed. We know the other day now, uh, um, Tonto DK, that somebody taped her secretly. And because she's a celebrity, the thing now, the person felt like he has got something tangible because she's a ton to DK. The person that brought her camera to film her is filming it because it's Tiwa Savage. She's the one that should say, I am Tiwa Savage. I know what's at stake. I don't want this. You get my point? So that why I'm pointing this is this. We're living in a society where we're not calling bad good, good, bad. We flipped it all around. Our children are watching. If they sit and think it's okay, then what are they going to... What are, You understand what I'm trying to say? You have to be careful. Now, I, another thing. She has a son. She has a son. And she may get married one day and have more children. You, that is not something she would want her children to see. No. It's not. Because, let me tell you, that child that she has will grow up one day and become a teenager. Internet, no, they forget. Internet never forgets. He's going to go to school. Now he's still small. They can prevent him from seeing it. I can bet you that by the time he's a teenager, his classmates will find it. How do you think her son will feel when he, if his classmates can say they saw the video of your mother's uh, elation? It's not something you would want. Even if you feel like, yeah, I'm strong. I'm dead. I don't care. I don't care. Your son may care. You understand? She's singing, uh, somebody's son uh, will find her someday. Just as much as a young girl that follow her, my message is this. As you're praying for somebody's son to find you one day, don't make your tape available for their family members to find. So that as somebody's son is finding you someday, the family members are not finding your compromising video online. You understand? Somebody's son will find you someday. Don't let your own son find the video of you in such a position. That is the message. I'm not here to say Tiwa Savage left with somebody. That is not even, I'm not even going that side. She's an adult. I've always said it. Even the Christian itself, no, by force. Anybody can choose to be Christian or not to be Christian. Now you and God on that day. It, me, oh, I don't care what people do with their private lives. It's when somebody now come. For example, somebody is preaching something that is incorrect. If it's something you're practicing in your life, that's how I feel about it. That's you. But if you now come and preach, what you're practicing in your life and is against what the Bible says. That's when I'll be like, okay, it becomes a public misinformation. I see, okay, I see the need to tell people, say, ah, not be so Bible talk. But everybody's free to live their own lives the way they like it. It's between them and God at the end of the day. 
You understand? So it's not like somebody coming to say, my me holy pass or whatever. There are some things, a lot of us that are even talking about it, that we may have done in private, that we will not be proud to for the world to know about it. Let's be honest. But that's why we went and did it in private. You understand? But it doesn't change the fact that when we see something, we say, ah, it's not good though. Why would you allow yourself to be filmed? If you see that video, there is no way. It is not secret recording. If you watch the, the interview she did, she did not say she was secretly recorded. She said it like this. A video of me and my, the person I'm seeing now. Blah, blah, blah. So she knew and the camera was put all the way to her face like this, like so close up for those that haven't seen it. So she knew she was being recorded. That is the area that I'm addressing. And society now not, not being specific. When they say we stand with, uh, with uh, Tiwa Savage, or what, emphasize what you're standing with. Are you standing with her when it comes to the idea of feminist? Or are you standing with her with the idea of, okay, I made a, she made a mistake and she wants to move on with her life? So that the young people that are watching you can get the correct message. Actually, when I watched the video, at a point it looked like, is it the guy that must have filmed it? And then I'm like, is it a third person that was there? But I'm like, no, there's no way she's going to let a third person be there. So, I, like that video, like I said, I was finding how to figure out who filmed it. But it's most likely, like, he filmed it. And for somebody that is dating a celebrity to want to film something like that, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the so-called person she's dating. I, I don't know. Like I said, it looks like he's the guy that filmed it. If he's the guy that filmed it, who I don't think is a celebrity himself. So for him to be dating a celebrity and then film her in such a position, in such a circumstance, I believe she was being filmed with her reputation in mind. That's how I feel. The same thing about the Tonto Dike that the guy was recording in the audio. He was recording it with her reputation as a celebrity in mind. Like I said in that other video, if Tonto Dike was one village girl in Guagualada or whatever, there's no way he would have recorded it. So the so-called person she's dating. And then we've never even talked about the idea of who leaked the video, who brought it out. I saw a post and which said that um, Tiwa Savage loses four endorsements over leaked uh, tape. Cadbury, Pampas, uh, Globacom, ETC withdraw their endorsement. I saw that posted somewhere on Facebook. If I'm not mistaken, I, I know that Pampas have used that for advert. But the thing is this, I won't be surprised if it's true that they've pulled out these endorsements because someone that they're using for Pampas advert, Cadbury would be hot chocolate, a lot of children's products, and somebody with her video in such a way on social media. I don't think you understand. It makes a lot of sense that if truly did it, really, really did drop her, you won't blame them because you can't be using, typically some people would, companies, there are a lot of companies that will shy away from using someone that has such a controversial video out there, you know, as a, as a face for children's uh, sweets and, you know, hot chocolate and children's product, pampas and stuff like that. There is a reputation that she's supposed to have and when they feel like, okay, she doesn't match that anymore. And then I want to talk about the idea of role model. People don't know what role model is. Mo role model is a big word. There are some celebrities at this point would have come out, like she would have come out and say, you know, I'm sorry, you know, for anybody that looks up to me, what I did was wrong. Just to clarify it for a lot of young girls that look up to her. I'm just saying this. I, I should have known better. Just for young children to know, okay, okay, she made a mistake. That has to be said. It was a mistake, Right. But it has to be said so that these young people that are looking up to her, okay, that's a mistake. Don't do that. There are some people that believe that, oh, it's parents that raise their children. It's not responsibility. It's not uh, celebrities that raise your children. It's not da, 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 da. But whether we like it or not, we parents are raising our children. But you cannot tell me that we are the only influence in our children's life. Children's lives. That is a lie. Fat lie. I can bet you that social media has influence on our children. Social media has a massive influence. School and their age mates, pairs, friends have a lot of influence. There are areas where parents rub off on their children. But there are a lot of other ways, you know, where other things around the child's life. Society influences the child so much, you know, and celebrities they look up to have influence. That's why if you're in such a position, you be careful because you're a small children, they watch me. Let me be careful what I do. I don't want to lead them on the wrong path. I don't want to misguide them and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, being a role model is a big thing and it's something, is a massive responsibility. Uh, bottom line, my point is this. Yes, what she did was natural, but like I said, filming it is not natural. And I'm saying this for a young girl watching this. There is a time, if you're a young girl in college or whatever, there is a time and place for everything in life. And, and I think the most important message that I want to pass to young girls that are watching this video right now is to say, look, what she did is natural, but filming it is not, okay? And there is a time 
and place for everything in life. As you're praying for somebody's son to find you someday, just be careful that as the somebody's son is finding you, that his whole village will not be finding a tape of you in a compromising position. Adieu. That's my opinion about it. And so always, whatever your opinions are, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.